Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Taylor Swift, the Pride Festival is expected to draw large crowds in downtown Minneapolis this weekend. Minneapolis leaders expect over 600,000 people downtown and millions of dollars in economic activity during two major events this weekend. City leaders speak of a new era for downtown and are ready for it. The Day Block Brewing Company is at work around the clock preparing for a busy weekend of boundless Taylor Swift fans. Jeff Hahn, co-owner of Day Block Brewing Company, said it is the first time they've been working on back-to-back -back major events at U.S. Bank Stadium. We we re looking forward to it, and it is going to be a challenge, but we re ready for it. Han said. Oh, and both Friday and Saturday, fans will fill U.S. Bank Stadium for the Taylor Swift concert. Just a short walk away is Brew Pub. Han prepares for thousands of people to pour through the restaurant before the concert, opening the restaurant earlier and only offering limited reservations. Guests are welcome. Swifties can look forward to a special pink lemonade cocktail called Lover. It is happy stress, Han said. We've had a lot of Viking seasons and a lot of concerts, so my staff all know exactly what we need to do to prepare. The Taylor Swift concert isn't the only big weekend event in Minneapolis. The Twin Cities Pride Festival will return to Loring Park at the same time. Meet Minneapolis expects over 600,000 people to come through downtown. It is a wonderful place to welcome people back downtown, said Melvin Tennant President and CEO of Meet Minneapolis. The organization expects Super Bowl-level traffic and money. Metro Transit originally had no plans to expand light rail services, but will now offer more bus and light rail services following the Taylor Swift concerts. They also offer free rides to the Pride Festival.